Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started in this listen, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the Akim, that's of the hopeful elect, that pushing forth this word in the truth and righteousness sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Brother Haka, GMS South Carolina Midlands Branch, back with another listen, another video here. And pretty much, man, this spirit was pretty much expired, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit. Uh, you know, I was uh, watching the Elders Apostles uh, Street Ministry uh, this past week. I was just uh, finishing, wrapping uh, the uh, edifying, very edifying, as usual, man, as usual, man. You know what I'm saying, Street Ministry this past week. And, um, you know, what I'm saying and, and one of many scriptures, man, you know, what I'm saying that it was bringing out that that that, that stuck with me was uh, Romans um, 10 and 15, man, Romans 10 and 15. And that's where we're going to be reading from today, man. Probably going to start up a couple of verses before we get verse 15. But just, you know, through the spirit, you know, what I'm saying I want to build, you know, on that Romans 10 and 15, man. All right. And here we go, man. So let's get straight to it, man. All right. Without uh, further ado, man. All right. This Romans 10. And 15 here. Matter of fact, I said we're going to start at verse 13, right? Okay. Now, it's right here, Romans 10 and 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall be saved. See? Now, you will have a vocab alone when they read the scripture, all right? And they're going to read it without any understanding because the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh ain't dealing with them. First of all, you're not a Hebrew Israelite. So, that's, that, that, that's, the, that, that's the number one um, you know what I'm saying? That's the number one knock right there. You're not a Hebrew Israelite, so you won't, won't come to the understanding anyway, off top. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know what I'm saying? And number two, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, all right. These scriptures, you know, they are written, codified for only the prophets to understand of Israel. Not, not all of Israel can go in the scriptures and understand these scriptures, bro. Okay. So how much more you damn heathens, man? All right. But a nigga, uh, a, 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 a Israelite, with no one is standing there, read verse 13, and they'll swear up and down that, you know what I'm saying, that's talking about everybody. That that, that include all the families on this earth. Now, there's 18 families on this earth, man, and Yahweh Shemesh only chose one to himself, man, which is Israel. Now, I made a, I, I made, I, now I made a statement. Now, anything, anytime you make a statement, man, you got to go into the scriptures and back up what you're saying, man. All right? Now, I made a statement in verse 13. You didn't see the Hebrew Israelites written in verse 13. But if you know the scriptures, all right, how shall I say he come in the volume of the book? All right. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, the scriptures only speaks of Israel being Yahweh chosen people. Israel being the seed of the promise, the chosen at the end of the day or whatnot. We are the inheritance of Yahweh We the woman of Yahweh All right. And on this side, only the elect. All right. Up and down, up and down. Yahweh said he changed not at the end of the day, Isaiah 40, 50, verses 15 and 17 show you clearly how Yahweh Shemal Shah feel about these heathen nations. The book of Malachi, the first chapter, Yahweh Shemal Shah say he, well, no, no, Shalai, the book of Malachi, the third chapter. Let's get that. Let me stop bringing out these scriptures and, you know, and let, let me grab them. Let me grab them. All right, let me grab them. Hey, that's one of my younger brothers, man. One of the younger brothers in the camp. One of my youngest brothers in the camp. I'll be calling him back. You know what I'm saying? I'll be um calling him back or whatever, doing a listen right now. He probably already know. Once he went straight to the voicemail, you already know, okay, uh, brother caught doing a video. But anyway, the point I was bringing out Malachi 3 and 6, referring to that Yahweh Shema Osha changed not, man, when it comes to his word at the end of the day, to his judgments at the end of the day, to his promises at the end of the day, all right? This Malachi, the third chapter, verse 6, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Osha. I change not, okay? Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So Yahweh Shem Shah changed not at the end of the day. Now let's read Romans 10 and 13, going straight back to the point. Yahweh Shem Shah chose Israel then, and he chose Israel now. The Most High did not cast away his people at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay, matter of fact, what since I mentioned that, Shlock, y'all, hold on. Move this little dag on. There we go. Move this little circle out of my way here. Okay, hold on. God did not cast away his people. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see here. I know castaway is in there. Let's get that real quick. Castaway. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here, y'all. 
Okay. All right. 19 results here. And I should be looking for the one in Romans. Okay. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Romans 11. One and two. Oh, man. I could have go scripture down. I was already Romans 10. But anyway, point of the matter is we got it. All right, this right here, Romans 11 and 1. All right, just to prove the point that Yahweh Shema Rashad never cast away Israel because you people in the churches, you so-called Christians, which y'all not real Christians anyway. You're not real Mashiach anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all swept up and down that um, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews, you know, they didn't accept the Lord. So that opened up salvation for all nations, which that's a fucking lot because what nationality was the disciples, man? All right. All right, later on became the apostles. But what nationality was the disciples? All right, you know what nationality was Apostle Paul, man? You know what I'm saying? Which he, which he gonna tell you, man? Okay, at the end of the day, they was Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, you know. So you didn't. So you know what I'm saying? The people you had, Yahweh Shai had followers at the end of the day for you dummies, man. Okay, all right. So so what the hell you damn fucking talking about? You know what I'm saying? You people talking about all the Jews? They didn't accept the Lord. That's how these heathens, man. Shut up, man. Shut up. Like I gotta say, man, who who the hell, you know, what nationality was the prophets, man? They was Hebrew Israelites at the end of the day, man. So that cut that damn theory right off bat, man. Who who was who was the prophets teaching to? Israel, man. All right. Scripture's going to telling you, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, about Apostle Paul, how they wanted to get Apostle Paul out of these cities because, you know what I'm saying, you had those uh men that was making these idols. All right, you know what I'm saying? Making these idols or whatnot. They was losing business because Paul was converting Israel, you know what I'm saying? Back to Israel at the end of the day because you had Israelites that was being Hellenized, okay? That, that was Hellenized. And Paul, through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Rashad, all right, was waking them back up, all right, to the nationality, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he was bringing them back to Yahweh Shah, man, okay? All right, is what you're seeing um, happen today was going on back then, all right? Okay? And it was the Hebrew Israelites. It was Israel. Paul went teaching and he wasn't trying to wake up no fucking heathens, man. Because heathens don't have anything to do with the covenant, man. That Yahweh Shemal Shai made with the nation of Israel. All right? The blessing, the seed goes through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All nations didn't come out of Jacob at the end of the day, man. Okay? All right? What 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 nations or tribes came out of Jacob? So-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American to you, so-called Hispanics, man. All right? Now, this right here, Romans 11 and 1, it says, I say then, Yahweh, why Yahweh shall have, Shalop, let me start it back up. It says, I say then, have Yahweh, why Yahweh shall cast away his people? Question mark. Yahweh, why Yahweh shall forbid. So that means hell no. For I also am an Israelite. All right, straight cut right here. Paul, straight cutting you of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So that's a fucking cut. When people say that Yahweh Shema Shah cast away his people, he done away with his people. All right, salvation open for all all nations now, which that's a freaking lie, man. Salvation only open for Israel, and only the elect, the one third, is gonna receive salvation on this side, man. Pursuing back, uh, uh, pursuing back to Zechariah thirteen eight and nine, man. All right, verse two. No, matter of fact, like I ain't first reading, I ain't finished reading verse uh, one here. Let me start it back. Romans eleven and one. I'm getting too excited, y'all. It says, "I say then, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, ha, um, shall I, I say then, have Yahweh Yahweh Shah cast away his people? Yahweh Yahweh Shah forbid, for I also am an Israelite. See, an Israelite. So Paul breaking it down, telling you he's an Israelite. Why did Paul mention that? If God's for everybody, why he had to mention his nationality? If this truth is open up for everybody, man." All right. So Paul making a statement here and cutting you damn Christians, man. It says for all y'all fake Christians. Let me say that the correct way. It says for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin is one of the tribes of Israel. OK. All right. One of the tribes of Jacob. OK. You know, so Paul told you his nationality and he told you what tribe he's from. man. So that's a freaking goddamn cut to say, yeah, how about your mouth shot? Cast away his people. Um, verse two, it says. Yahweh, Yahweh shall have not cast away his people, all right, which he foreknew. Another cut. Why ye not what the scripture said of Isaiah, supposed to be Isaiah here, how he make of intercession to Yahweh, Yahweh shall against Israel, saying, okay, here you go, Israel again. Here, Israel once again. All right. So Yahweh Shemal shall did not cast away his people. So going right back to Romans 10. All right, verse uh, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, shall be saved. All right, so who is that whosoever? All right, 
Only thing we got to do is go to Acts. Go to Acts real quick. Precept upon precept, line upon line. All right. It's many scriptures we can go to that we can choose from the, the, the breakdown that Yahweh Shema Rashad, chosen people, is Israel, and that never changed, man. All right. Now, let's check it out. Now, we, re we read in Romans 10 and 13, right? Okay. For whosoever, right? It, it, we read it again in Acts 2 and 21. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shemalbashah shall be saved, ye men of Israel. See, straight cut, man. Straight cut. So it's referencing and it's speaking to Israel, ye men of Israel. Hear these words, Yahweh of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also knew. Straight cut, man. Straight cut, man. Let's get Psalms real quick. Let's get Psalms real quick, man. All right, we ain't gonna just stop there, man. Let's get Psalms real quick. All right, we edifying here. We edifying mean build, build on, build on. So I'm just building on these precepts, man. All right, just bringing in the point that Yahweh Shemesh only dealing with Israel. This truth is only for Israel, and it never change. Isaiah, I mean, not, I'm about Isaiah. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showed, he showed his word unto Jacob, which so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, where everybody else at, where everybody else at. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right. He have not, not, not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shah. Straight cut. So Yahweh Bashim Shah said right out of his own mouth. He has not dealt with any nation, bro. Any heathen nation at the end of the day. And that never changed. And it says they have not known me. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's why Israel is up under these curses today. All right. Because we broke the covenant. All right. So if the so if everybody. You know, if if Yahweh Shema Shah was dealing with everybody, shouldn't everybody be up on these curses? Okay, all right, come on, man, make it make sense, man. How the hell we at the bottom and you got Esau at the top, man? Okay, all right. Why? Because of the curses, man. We didn't keep the um, commandments of Yahweh Shema Shah. All Israel sinned against Yahweh Shema Shah, man. Okay, that's the whole point of the matter, man. That the Most High is only dealing with Israel, man, from the beginning to the middle to the end, man. They're never gonna change, man. All right. Now let's get back Romans. Uh, 10, all right, and 13, man. All right, so we made that point. All right, we know who that, uh, whosoever. Uh, Romans 10 and 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So see, you need somebody to teach you, man. Yahweh Shem Al Rashad, all right, you know, ain't gonna do you like he did Apostle Paul where Yahweh Shem physically taught Paul, man. All right. That's not how Yahweh Bashim Al-Rashad set it up on this side, man. All right. OK. All right. You ain't Apostle Paul. All right. You know. OK. Neither am I. <laughs> All right. That's why Yahweh Bashim Al-Rashad set up what? Apostles, elders, teachers. All right. You know, going back to Hebrews 5 and 12. When you, when you ought to be teachers, you need one to teach you again. OK. So you can't understand this word and this truth. Unless your how about your shot is dealing with you, unless you of the elect first and foremost, you have to be of the chosen first and foremost. Then you have to be taught by a man of the Lord, man. All right. To learn these scriptures and learn these breakdowns the correct way. So ain't no way you're going to learn these scriptures without learning from a man of the Lord, period. OK. All right. That's how it's done, man. So nobody can sit up there, try to get some self-glory. I ain't learned from man. I learned straight from the Lord. Yeah, how about your no, 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 nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shemal Shah set up teachers for a reason. He set up elders, apostles for a reason, man. Man been doing this work and been laboring, and we're gonna enter into our elders, apostles' labors for a reason, man. All right, you know? Okay. So they been doing this way before we was even thought of, man. Okay. Now finishing up. Um verse 15 in the point. It says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? And as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. See, it says in verse 15, it says how and how shall they preach except they be sent. See, so you got to be sent by Yahweh Bashim al man. man. If you ain't sent by the Lord, that makes you a false prophet. And we know what the Lord going to do to a false prophet, man. A false prophet is going to be what? Destroyed. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day or whatnot, man. Simple as that, man. He going to be made out. To be the liar that he is at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay, all right. So you got to, you have to be sent by Yahweh Shemal Rashad. 
All right. The spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah got to be dealing with you. And, 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 and that happens. And, and, and that's not of our will. Everything is the will of Yahweh Shema Shah, man. All right. Before we even enter our mother's womb. All right. It was already predestined, man. You know who was going to be of the elect. All right. And who was going to be two thirds, man. That's not of our works at the end of the day. That's what a lot of you jakes, man. You don't understand. You think you can go to Esau seminary or theologian schools. All right. Esau can give you a certificate or a degree. Or whatnot and ordain you a man of law. Man, I don't make you no man lord, man. You saw he in the authority of these scriptures, bro. All right, at the end of the goddamn day. All right, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? So, is it because you go through Esau's fool system, all right? How the hell is the devil going to teach you about your own, about your history, bro? All right? Th this Bible is our history, man. This is our history book. All right, you know? Okay? It's pertaining to us, Israel. Not no damn body else. But here it is, St. John 15 and 16, just to prove that point. That you how about Shah have to choose you. You can't choose the most high, man. All right. You Christians in these churches, man, you got it wrong, man. All right. You can't give your heart to the Lord, man. All right. The Lord, he got St. John 15 to 16. Let me shut up. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Man, I can just I can cut this video right here, bro. And ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. See? All right. So you can't choose the Lord, man. You can't come to the Lord. All right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has to come to you. He has to choose you. And the Lord chose us before the foundations of this earth was even created, man. The elements was even created, man. All right. You know, so it's already was predestined. All right. Going back to Jeremiah one and five, man. All right. Jeremiah one and five. OK. It says before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the wound, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations man so there you have it man all right yeah how about shema Shah ordain you to be you know he ordained the prophets he ordained the men of the lord he picked whether or not you're gonna be of the elect man all right how you know if you of the elect or not you're gonna be doing what the elect do man they're gonna be doing the work man doing you know what i'm saying you know they're gonna be laboring pushing the word and pushing the truth of uh, yeah how about shema Shah giving him no rest man gonna be out there on them highways and byways man all right gonna be a uh, isaiah 58 and 1 let's like, bring it out bring it out Cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So the men of the Lord, they're going to be out there on the highways and byways, man. All right. Pushing his word, pushing this truth. All right. You know what I'm saying? Daily at the end of the day or whatnot, man. They ain't going to be taking any time. They ain't going to be taking any time off, man. I'm going to be consistently and constantly pushing his word and pushing this truth, man. All right. Okay, that's what the this what men of the Lord are gonna do. You wanna know what the catalyst of men of the Lord? They just sit right here. All right. Second, you know what you see, the elders of apostles of great millstone to the elder bishops. All right, elders of old seven of great millstone down us, and every other brother's coming in that same spirit. The affiliates of great millstone, and every other brother's coming in the same spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Second Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. It says preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. So these men's gonna be preaching this word and the truth. You know what I'm saying? Daily, man. All right. Daily. Ain't taking no time off. Not giving Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shah any rest at the end of the day, man. All right. We ain't giving the Lord no rest, man. If I ain't mistaken, is that um let me see here. Let me see here. Nah, they ain't it. They ain't it. Matter of fact, hold on. I know. I'm, and this is another another trait. How you know men of the Lord, man. Okay. All right. You know they're going to be on the highways and byways consistently. All right. Teaching the word, teaching the truth, not sparing no feelings. Okay. Not being fucking PC. Okay. All right. Not coming out here trying to be friends, be your pal, your buddy. Hey, man, we come out here giving you a message from your how about your mouth shot, man. We got one job to do, man. All right, we're going to do our job and we're going to prophesy, give you warning. And it's on you whether you hear it or whether you forbear. But your blood won't be on our hands, man. Matthew 22 and 9, it says in red letter, Yahweh was shot. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage, man. All right, so the prophets, the servants of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 8. Uh, Matthew 22 and 8. Then say he to his servants, which Yahweh Shah said to the servants, which is us, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidding were not worthy. All right. You know what I'm saying? You unworthy prophets, man. You slothful servants, man. You sellouts, man. It says, go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So 
You know what I'm saying? So those servants went out into the highways, did what they commanded to do by Yahweh Shema Shah. Where well, you're going to find the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, man. All right. You're going to find us out there. You're going to have brothers that go out there to do week, uh, midweek camps or they go out there, you know what I'm saying? You know, certain days of the week, you know what I'm saying? Mainly you can catch everybody on the weekends, majority on brothers work, brothers work. Okay. We do work. We got to work to eat. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers' jobs, you know what I'm saying, where they may be off on Saturdays or Sundays, or they may go in a little late on Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? Brother go a little late on late on Saturday, he'll go out there and teach early. If a brother go, you know what I'm saying, if uh, um if a brother, you know, he work early, you know what I'm saying, on Saturdays, hell after after he get off of work, brother meet up with brothers and he may have a night camp or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? However, you know, brothers be out there, we be out there on them highways and byways, and we doing our sit downs in transit videos. We can never do enough of the truth. Edification is consistently going out. That's the point. That's the message. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to convey. All right. Now, uh, finishing up verse 10. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good. And the wedding were furnished with guests, which representing the elect when his word hit his truth. And they're going to be quickening, man. We're going to be a, 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 a quickening, you know, the spirit going to be quickening where we're going to have that quick understanding through the Kodash, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim was shot, man. All right, where well, we going, you know what I'm saying, wait back up and return back to him, all right, because we foreknew this knowledge and this understanding um, before, man, all right, you know, before, okay, and this is, um, and I could probably wrap it up on here, all right, but it's another indicator of knowing the prophets, all right, characteristics, this is what the prophet's going to be doing, all right, this is the main one right here, this is the main thing right here, all right, Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. All right. So the men of the Lord, this is what we're going to be preaching on. We're going to be preaching it because we ain't in the kingdom of heaven. Just ask a uh, nigga in the church, a Christian. Are we in the kingdom of heaven? This kingdom of heaven? Hell fucking no. All right. So guess what? This is a kingdom. This is a wicked ass kingdom of Esau. This ain't the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. This ain't the kingdom of Israel right here. All right, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and raise Israel back up. We in it, we, we, you know what I'm saying? We are, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he raised Israel back up through the spirit by us coming back up to our nationality, prophesying. You know what I'm saying? We're waking back up to our nationality, who we are. But far as, you know what I'm saying? We ain't been raised back up. Well, we back on top. We still up on these curses, man. We still got to prophesy. We still got to give warning. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, Israel, you know, the elect still being sealed. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. So we 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 almost there. We are almost there, but we're not quite there yet. All right. You know, we still hey, hey, it's like a woman still prevailing with that child, man. She's still prevailing with that child, man. All right. You know, them labor pain is about to kick in, which is going to the Jacob's shovel. All right, the hour of temptation. And then that that deliverance, man. All right. You know, once that deliverance, then hey, man, all that pain gonna go away, man. All that agony, hell, adversity, all that endurement, yeah, that, that, that affliction. And like Yahweh Shema Shah said, that light affliction, hey, the most high, hey, he, he gonna wipe away all our tears, man. Okay, we coming to that time, man. All right, the elect, okay. All right, so hell, we gonna, hey, we, we gotta bear, we gotta go through that fire, man. Okay, that spiritual fire. All right, um, finishing up once again, verse eight, let me read verse eight back up top. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. All right, you know, so that, so that, so, so that, um, Hold on. Verse nine, the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent him. Woo. There you go. There you go. Verse nine. So if it come to pass, that's how you know whether or not that been that man been sent by the Lord. If it don't come to pass, that means this nigga been prophesying in his own name. He, he, ain't, he ain't been sent by you. How about your mouth shot, man? All right. Most I got him in the trick bag. All right. Yeah. How about you? My shot control all things. OK, don't get it twisted. But the most high allow that false prophet to be a stumbling block for you. Two thirds, man. Like scripture say, man, you know, what I'm saying the elect, the elect of Yahweh about your shot is not going to be we, we, we're not going to be deceived. man. It's impossible to deceive the very elect, man. OK, at the end of the day or whatnot, we ain't going to be deceived by Satan devices at the end of the day, bro. OK. All right. We're going to be able to read you damn sellouts. You know what I'm saying? You know, all right. We're going to know our enemies. Esau, not to trust our enemies. Esau and you other heathen nations. OK. All right. But the point of the matter is, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, that man told me he's he been sent by Yahweh Shema Shah, And especially they come in another name outside of Yahweh Shema Shah, right off the bat. You know, they know they false prophets. But, you know, that man to my here, man, the Lord been sent by Yahweh Shema Shah, and everything he speak and he say and it don't come to pass. You know he ain't no man of the Lord, man. If he ain't preaching on the MOTB, giving you one the MOTB, once one, the major end time prophecies that have to take place before the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah, if he ain't teaching you that, if he ain't, those ain't one of the major prophecies and, and preaching on the elect in the name of Yahweh Shah, 
Yeah, how about you, my child, only dealing with the elect, these heathens. They're part of our inheritance. They're going to slavery and captivity. They're going to be doubling to Esau. If they ain't give me the whole skinny, Babylon going to be destroyed by the power. Yeah, how about you, my child, by the nuclear war? All right, time in the World War Three. The war to end all wars. Yahweh Shah going to knock the crown off all you damn heathen heads, man. In other words, Yahweh Shah going to have full domain, man, over all you, over every fucking body, the whole world, man. All right? And the elect going to be heirs with that big bro, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? So if you ain't pushing that, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, giving the whole skinny, all right? Then Yahweh Shah ain't dealing with you, man. If it don't come to pass, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Simple as that, man. But with that, that's the end of my listen. I pray and I hope that it was edifying to the body of hopeful elect. Closing out, I want to say shalom, shalom to the full elect, shalom.